yeah, welcome back to our series of discussion on um, anxiety and depressive mood. Um, we're going to continue from where we left off from the um, other episode. So, on the other episode, we are talking about um, Gelda, Mayo, and um, Gates. They suggest that it is vital that mania be predicted in the early stages because otherwise the patient becomes reluctant to comply with the treatment. So we were talking about compliance of medication when a manic patient is, um, is prescribed medication and then um, the multidisciplinary team makes sure that they are compliant and adherent or adhere to their medication, their treatment regime so that they don't become worse when they are in the manic phase. So the earlier they comply or they take the medication, the better for them not to be worse when they are in their manic state. So let's continue from where we left off. So um, the criteria for bipolar disorder do not, do not include depressive episodes and the presence of mania in the, in the absence of depressive episode is sufficient for a diagnosis. Regardless, those who never experienced depression also experience cyclical changes in mood. The cycles are often affected or affected by changes in sleep cycle too much or too little, dinal rhythms and environmental stresses. So um, talking about those that go through the manic phase without the element of depressive mood. But whatever it is, they go through a cycle which obviously includes the depressive state or the de depressive mood. So mania varies in intensity from mild mania, which is hypomania, to full-blown mania with extreme energy, psychotic features, including hallucination, delusion of grandeur, suspiciousness, catatonic behavior, aggression and pre preoccupation with thoughts and schemes that may lead to self-neglect. This situation or this condition is very horrible if you have experienced it. If you a psychiatrist or a mental health nurse or a practitioner who have experienced this state of mani or mania you will know what I'm talking about catatonic state if they say catatonic state somebody is going to be in a position for almost three four hours and still be there do you know catatonic state it's a terrible situation that you don't even wish it on any of your worst enemies Suspiciousness, behavior, aggression, they've got extreme energy, abnormally elevated power, strength, that you can't even go close when you are one or two to try and restrain that patient. You wouldn't dare. You need to call the team to come in to make sure that you prepare your meds, your, you know, I am, that is intramuscular medication there. Get everything ready, call the team, and then you go in for the restraint and give that person some support that they need that is therapeutic, that will help them calm their nerves down. Because what they are going through is very horrible. They don't like it, but it's uncontrollable. They can control it. Sometimes it's unavoidable too as well. So it's a very very critical situation that we are talking about when it comes to manic phase. It is no good. You are preoccupied with thoughts that no one can understand you 
and it's got that delusion of grandeur, that hallucination that, you know, pits you in a very elevated level of consciousness and you can't even understand what you 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 are seeing things differently you are processing your thoughts differently you are experiencing different things in your body and people wouldn't understand if they don't have the experience to understand you so it's a very difficult situation that we find ourselves in when it comes to um manic or mania and sometimes they self-neglect sometimes they do things to themselves that you wouldn't even want to know it is horrible and please if you have any family member that is going through that please let them get help support the need to be admitted asap first aid admission section 2 28 days of evaluation assessment and treatment please let them get some help because it's serious standardized tools such as altman self rating mania skill and young mania's rating skill can be used to measure the severity of the manic episode these are the tools that we use to measure the severity the higher standard the higher levels of the episodes because mania and hypomania have also been associated with creativity and artistic talent. It is not always the case that the clearly manic bipolar person needs or wants medical help. Such persons often either retain sufficient self-control to function normally or unaware that they have gone manic severely enough to be committed or to commit themselves manic persons often can be mistaken for being on drugs or other mind altering substances so in rare cases there are some individuals that are high have got high functioning mentality high functioning brains that are good in artistic works especially some of these celebrities that are film actors that are in the art industry you know they can memorize their scripts if you give them one book like that they can memorize their scripts give them books like that they can memorize their scripts you know they are extremely intelligent and with that extreme intelligence you know they can outweigh any ordinary actor or actress that they meet because they've got it and sometimes when they are in their panic state or in their manic state, some of them are able to control themselves and they are able to manage it. But most of them, when they are in the manic state and when, especially those that are diagnosed with depression in um, with a combination of you know bipolar disorder or something like that. You, they can't manage it. They have to be admitted and sorted out. But those that can manage it, they are doing extremely well, uh, extremely well in the in the in the film industry, in the in the movie industry, in the showbiz. And some of them are into other areas of discipline that are doing really great. Those that can manage it, you know, with medication and all that, they are doing extremely well. But those that are uncontrollable they can't do anything about it they have to get it checked out they have to get admission they have to get medication they have to you know be be, be have their, their their first aid before anything else happens so we have the mixed episodes in a mixed state the individual has cool occurring manic and depressive features the sphoric mania or mania is primarily manic and agitated depression is primarily depressed this has caused speculation amongst those doctors that mania and depression are two independent axes in a bipolar spectrum rather than the opposites which is on page 132 